What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic, wonderful, blessed day. I am back for yet another Elf Lead haul and there are several videos actually recorded on my camera right now. Crazy, I know. Um, lots of updates, lots of things happening, but the main takeaway that we're gonna get from the intro of this video is that I have a lot more time on my hands, which means hopefully YouTube will be a thing. We shall see. But in the meantime, I do have an athlete haul. You guys know I love recording these for you. There's a huge launch coming up Saturday, and by the time you're seeing this, I think it's Thursday night. So we've got two days to figure out what we want, get it in your carts, or like, you know, figure out the sizing and the colors and things that you want. And it is partly an Amplify launch. So what I'm actually more excited about from this launch than even the Amplify is the like sweatsuit athleisure collection that's coming with this launch. So a while back, Alphalete launched launched what was called the Elements Collection. I did do a video review for that launch and for some reason that collection just like did not get the hype it deserved. I don't know why, but when I say the Elements Collection are my most worn pieces of Elf Elite gear, they 1000% are. I actually don't know why I don't talk about them more. I think it's just because they're like my casual comfy clothes and my like the first thing I reach for when I wake up um, every single day that I was like working I had on my nice top and a pair of elements collections bottoms um, they're just like my go-to comfy warm cozy piece I sleep in them I do things with them I grocery shop in them all of the above and I just never talked about them because I think they're just so casual and they're not as like trendy as like a pair of amplify leggings and obviously they don't make your butt look like amplify leggings do because they're sweatpants but they're my favorite collection as far as like all the comfy clothes go for Alphalete and they are relaunching. So there are some updates to the Elements pieces. So I'm really excited to share those with you as a refresher. They're the, the joggers that have this like really thick waistband right here and they just feel so expensive. They're like cold to the touch. I got to sample these like a year before they even launched when I was living in Texas and I love them then I love them now and I love the updates that they did to them so sharing that in the second half of this video but the first half of the video we do have a big amplify launch lots of new colors they are pretty summery and then there are two a little bit more fall colors so these are a lot more my jam because it's like 65 in Nashville now um, and I'm trying to like do Halloween things but uh, in the meantime for you lucky people who live on the West Coast etc we have some amazing bright colors that are very summery for you so this launch is going to be Saturday it's at it's at 12 okay so <laughs> the launch is going to be Saturday which is October 15th and that's going to be at 12 p.m. Central so 1 p.m. Eastern yeah my brain 12 p.m. Central 1 p.m. Eastern and I'll put the GMT time here for you as well as always if you do want to support me you can use code Brit and that also is going to get you 10% off of your order uh, as for this launch specifically I have a huge giveaway <laughs> to do it with. A, because Alphalete sent a whole bunch of extra items um, with this launch, which is super exciting, but quite frankly, I don't need four duffel bags. So I'm gonna be giving away two duffel bags, a just drawstring bag, and I'm gonna be giving away miscellaneous Alphalete clothing. We're gonna do three winners. I'm gonna give away three bags, and each of them are just gonna have a couple Alphalete pieces in them that I need to get out of my closet. I am redoing, Alex and I were just talking about it. This is my office space that has my desk, and I was so OCD about like what the background would be on my videos for the longest time that this room is just kind of like a cluster. And then the room that it's connected to, it's like a Jack and Jill, was supposed to be my filming room, but it doesn't get enough light and there's not enough room. There's a bed in there. It just doesn't make sense. So we're gonna be kind of switching around the space so that I have a dedicated filming room in here, uh, which I'm actually very excited about. We're gonna redo all this background so it's beautiful and nice. Uh, and yeah, I need to get rid of a lot of things to make that happen. So giving away a lot of things at the end of this video, all you're gonna have to do, I will just go ahead and share it with you. Uh, go ahead and use my code on your order. Send me a screenshot on Instagram or post it on your story and I will enter you in the giveaway and I'm just gonna pick three people to win to win a duffel bag as well as some Elfleet clothing. Let me show you the bags. Hold, please. So, we have some large duffel bags right here. These are the largest size ones, I think. So we have this one right here. This guy's like a green and black camo. Still has the tag, never used. I love these bags, but I have a large black one, a small black one, and they sent me this purple one. Ooh. And this is the one that I'm gonna keep as my new bag um, because I just love the purple. But I'm gonna give away the green one here. And then there's also this black and blue one. 
right here. It actually matches um, this pattern of surface they did a while ago. This like camo blue and black. This one's also a large size. And then there's also this big white drawstring bag right here. And like I expected this to be like some dingy little bag just because I feel like drawstring bags all look the same. No offense, Southly. But it's really nice. Like these straps right here are really thick and awesome. And this is huge. Even when you tie it up, it is really big and wonderful. So we're going to take all of these and I'm going to throw a couple of Alphalete pieces in each one of them. Uh, depending on who the winners are, I will find out what your size is and send you pieces. Hopefully if I have them in the proper size because I do have like all kinds of Alphalete pieces in different sizes uh, as well as even a lot of men's stuff. So we have some options. We're going to figure it out. But yeah, send me a message uh, with a screenshot of your order using code BRIT. You'll be entered in the giveaway and I will ship everything out Monday uh, after the launch happens. So just let me know by Monday morning and I will choose the winner's money Monday afternoon on my Instagram at Brit Shaheen uh, if you don't follow me on already and I'll send you some stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. Uh, just for my stats, I am five foot six, just about five foot seven. I'm a 32D in my bra size. I'm usually a size two in jeans. And for this whole collection, I am wearing extra small in all of the leggings. And then just about everything else, I'm wearing a small. So all the bras, I'm doing a small. Um, and then there's a couple like caveats to that. So I will explain to you um, which sizes are different because I did order some men's pieces from this launch. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so starting out, we are in the 4.5 inch Amplify short, and this is the new Stratus bra, and I'm in the color Digital Violet right now. And we can just go ahead and start with the shorts since you guys are familiar with the Amplify shorts. I would like to note that these shorts are the 4.5 inch. You know and love the Amplify shorts. We have our snatched waistband here. I am wearing a size small. I always size up to a small in any pair of Alphalete shorts just because I find that they run short and small. And I like a little more coverage. So small in the shorts, but I am wearing an extra small in all the Amplified leggings. So the great debate for this launch is the inconsistencies in the sizing. So really the only way that I can explain that to you is that when clothing is made in large numbers, it comes in various sizes. Like not every piece is going to be exactly the same. So I could say all day long like, oh, these shorts run really small. But my batch might be different than Michaela's batch and hers may run big. Like there's really no way to say it. So all I can do is give you my opinion. Um, you guys know I've been with Alphalete for like four years now. I've worn a lot of Amplify shorts and I can hopefully tell you, you know, at least when it comes to my sizing, what has changed and what hasn't. We all have different opinions on it. So it's completely up to you kind of which way you lean. And you can definitely look at other athlete reviews um, as well. One that I super, super highly recommend is Amy, Amy Rooks, R-O-O-K-E-S on YouTube. She also does super detailed reviews and sometimes our opinions differ on sizing, um, but just really, really helpful. Love her. So definitely check out her videos if you want a second opinion. And her and I, I think, are pretty similar in sizes as well. So that could help you. But I am wearing a size small, which is what I always wear in Amplify shorts. And I do find these tight, tighter than usual for an Amplify. Um, when I line up the waistbands, these are very small compared to some of the other waistbands. And this is my first time I've put these on. Like I have not worn these to the gym. You guys know I'm not really a shorts girly. I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, these have not been worn and they're very tight. Now, if I had worn them and worked out with them and washed them and dried them, then they might be bigger. So I'm really not much of one to do a waistband comparison when things are laying flat because there's other factors to bring in there. But on my body, I will tell you, these feel tighter than a usual Amplify short. So if you're worried, you could size up. I could comfortably, I mean, if you just look at my hips here, like I could comfortably size up to a medium. And I've never said that about an Amplify. Uh, they are very snug. So just with that in mind, this is what they look like. This is the 4.5. And this is where they do sit on my glutes. As far as squat proofness goes, these light blue underwear, which you can't usually see through things, but if we look at the mesh part, let's see, like the mesh part of the leggings here in direct light, you can see the line. Um, but on the rest of the legging, like I don't find that you can see it. Maybe if I was in black underwear, and like I've seen some reviews that say that. Here we go. So you can see it on the mesh part pretty well, but on the rest of it, uh, let's see, maybe a little, not so bad. Honestly, I was thinking about putting on black underwear for this, but then I was like, who's wearing black underwear with their light purple leggings? I don't, 
I don't think you guys are. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But I don't think it's realistic. So here we are. <laughs> as far as um, just like looking at these in the mirror here, in direct light, you can see the outline just a bit. Um, and right here, I don't know if the camera catches that, you can see where your underwear is. So if you're unsure about that, definitely size up. The leggings being tight obviously makes a difference on that. So something to think about. As far as the sheerness of all of the leggings, I would say the most sheer is the pink color um, that I'm going to show you next. Um, this one's probably the second most sheer, if I had to choose, yeah. And I didn't get gray. There's a utility gray color um, that's also coming out this launch. It's the color of these sweatpants, but I didn't get it because I have five pairs of gray amplify leggings. But I will <laughs> show you a color comparison on my Instagram if you guys want to check out kind of what that looks like. So moving on, this is the Stratus bra, and guys, I love this bra. The Amplify bra is not my favorite bra, you know that. Don't love it. It's just like so big and bulky and like weird. I've just never loved it. This bra... I'm into. I like the V. I like the support uh, a lot. I just find like this can just do a lot for you. You know what I mean? Like this just does some things. So we like her. This is great. Now the thing about this bra, when we got our like influencer email, whatever, we were told to size up in this bra and I'm like usually an extra small or a small bra. I'm kind of like I could do either on a lot of things. So I just went ahead and got a small and it fits me really well, which honestly a small is my true to size, but I do understand the complaint why people are sizing up. Now the beef I have to pick with this is I have girlfriends that are with Alpha Lee that have like double D fake boobs and they're wearing extra small and I'm in a small and I'm like I would be suffocated in an extra small so the people who are like size up you must size up I'm like maybe you're not buying the right size <laughs> like maybe you just need to size up in general like I used to wear an extra small sports bra across the board and the girls have grown with me okay so I size up to a small now I'm a size small for sports bras and going with my true to size fits really well however what I do see with this and why people are saying size up is this band right here let me turn around so you can see it's like this kind of gap that runs all the way around the band is very tight like this doesn't have much stretch. Like if we go from like where it is, that's the only stretch that it has. So when you're actually trying to get this on, this can be difficult to like get over your head because this just isn't stretchy. Like right here too in the middle, that's kind of all it has. Whereas the top has like a nice amount of normal bra stretch. So that's kind of the conflict is getting it over your head is kind of a pain. Um, but once it's on, it's great. I'm a size small. I went with my size small. I like it. If you're worried about it, the differences between extra small and small are really just like the width right here, I find. So you could definitely um, just size up to a small and I don't think it'll make a huge difference other than being able to get it over your head a little more easily. So this does have some really cool detail. You can see all of, like the pattern here on the side, which is amazing, as well as the little scrunch here in the front. And then it runs all the way around the back. And what I do like about this is this doesn't dig. There is, if you guys know the Altitude bra, the one that kind of looks like a tank top, it has this cutout. And I always see in pictures, like when I look at myself in a photo, I have like skin that sticks out because it digs. But this one doesn't, uh, which I really enjoy. I feel like it's the perfect kind of amount of tightness there, which is great. Gives me a lot of lift and it does have removable padding right here. Um, you can kind of see the outline of the removable padding here. Like if I pull it up, it does move up, but it doesn't really move side to side too much because this seam stops it, which I like because sometimes you guys know this padding like gets everywhere. Um, so it's good for that. Uh, my only bra of all the stress bras that I would say do not under any circumstance buy, sorry, I'll fully eat, is the white one. You guys know I am a die-hard white sports bra girl. Every launch, I'm like, get a pair of colored leggings and get a white sports bra because you can always wear it. Don't get this one. It's see-through. It's completely see-through. I wish I wasn't saying that because I was so excited because I even got, like, I got the butterscotch leggings, but I didn't get the matching bra. So I was like, oh, I'm going to wear the white one. No. Um, so, yeah, when I put this on... I'll show you I, if I can. I'll try. So when you have the bra pad in it, you can completely see the bra pad, like... So I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just take all the bra pads. No. In this one, without the bra pads, just picture this. Like, let me just, can we, like, <laughs> you can see my whole entire nipple. Like, the dark, like, outside of it and everything. Just, no, you can't. This is going to go in one of the... <laughs> 
No, it's not. I wouldn't do that. I was gonna say this is gonna go in one of the bags for you guys. If you want it, comment below. If you're like, yeah, put it in the bag, Brittany. I'll put it in the bag. Um, because I'm never gonna wear this. It's too see-through. I even tried it with some other bra pads that were like different colors because the one that comes in this white bra, let me show you, is white, which you think wouldn't show. And I tried it with a tan one as well and it, you still, no, can't do it. So, I don't know. Let me show you really quickly. Hold, please. Okay, so I can show you this side. I really... I can maybe sit back. I, I can't really. <laughs> this is the side that I took the bra pad out, so we're just going to keep this covered here. But this side you can see, like, this is where I still have the bra pad in. And can you see that, you guys? It's just, like, you can see the whole entire thing. And, like, no matter where I move it, you can, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's a no for me. This one also doesn't work. There's literally, it looks like there's, like, a penny in my, in my sports bra. It's not, it's not doing it. God forbid you sweat in this. No. Just no. So yeah, by all means, if you want to wear something over it, or you're okay with this pad situation, love you. Go for it. I support you. Not for me. Okay, moving on. Next in the lineup, we have Amplify Leggings and Stratus Bra. Stratus Bra, same thing, wearing a size small. Amplify Leggings, I'm in an extra small. And this is the color Pixel Pink. So this is what it looks like. Love this color. I think it's really fun, really cute. Let me zoom this out just a little here. Very fun. There honestly isn't an Alphalete color that they've ever done that honestly is even close to this. I think the closest would be, there was an old Halo legging in the color Rose, I think, and that's probably the closest one. I'm going to do color comparisons on my Instagram story, so look out for those, but I think that's the closest one. Uh, otherwise, there's just not been, like, any colors that have been near this. So, Amplify legging, same as usual. I will say this one, in my opinion, is the most sheer, like you can see right here. If I just pull this up, like you can see the light blue underwear very easily, um, as well as in the front. So these aren't a legging that I think I would wear on a leg day, but otherwise I don't really mind it. Like I think they're fine. Um, do keep in mind that some of the lighter colors like this aren't as cellulite friendly as some of the darker colors, of course. So to each their own with that. Uh, as far as the sizing goes, these ones to me feel like a usual extra small, maybe slightly tighter but nothing out of the ordinary. I will say when I first put them on, I looked at them and I was like, these look very small. And I wore them for like an hour yesterday and now they feel fine. So maybe there is truth to be told about like how they change when you wear them. But this is what they look like. This is them from the back. Oh, that light is not doing me any favors, is it? Here we go. <laughs> Pixel pink, big fan of this color. I will quickly pop on the other colors just so you can see what they look like. Um, and then we'll move on to the elements. Oh my gosh, was this tag driving you guys crazy? I'm so sorry. Ah, there we go. It's gone. Sorry. Okay, forgot to mention this. Let's talk about the material of these leggings. Um, I've seen this talked about a lot. And I actually meant to say something because I have feelings about this after today. So, digital violet. These leggings right here. I wore these out today when I went and ran errands and did adult things like dropping off dry cleaning. Yeah, I'm old like that now. Anyway, I wore these out today and I found them so itchy, which is weird because I don't usually find that about Amplify leggings. Like I wore them for like two hours and I was like, my skin is itchy. It was very weird. So there is definitely a difference in the material of some of these and putting on this color, this butterscotch color reminded me of that. So the only way I can show you, maybe I can hold it up close. So if this is digital violet, if you look at this material up close, it's like, it's stretchy, it's soft, and if you look at it, it's like cottony, like it's a soft material, right? But I just put on these butterscotch ones, and these feel like straight tights. Like look how thin and stretchy these look. And like they're shiny almost, like these literally feel like spandex. They feel completely different than the other colors, which is a little strange. Now the thing is, I don't hate this feeling. I think this is more comfortable. Something about these was like really itchy and irritating on my skin today. I don't know what it was. Um, they just feel a little bit like rougher almost. Like, like they're not brushed. Like sometimes you get from Amplify. If you guys remember the launch ugh, that had um, the ombre colors. 
that's what these feel like these feel just like the ombre colors to me they're a little bit softer they're not like tights but I did find those like a little bit itchy for some reason so maybe it's just whatever that material is whereas the butterscotch the ones I have on right now these feel the most like Oh, I know. These feel like the Thundercloud launch, one of the first Amplify launches. I don't know if you guys remember that, but back then, Amplify launches, they felt a lot more like tights. They were extra stretchy. Like, when I pulled them up here, it was just like, shoop, they just went right up, and it was fine, good to go. These feel more like that. Whereas I find that these two and the new Indigo color feel like the Ombre launch. They're, like, a little bit softer, a little more brushed. For some reason, my skin hates them. Um, I don't know how to explain that. Let me know if you, like, find that in the comments as well. I'm not really sure how to explain it. <laughs> um, maybe the materials just feel a little bit thicker in those colors, but definitely in this butterscotch, I'm getting, like, more OG Amplify. Like, these feel, like, tights to me, even thinner than OG Amplify, honestly. Like, they're very, very stretchy. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. I do love the butterscotch color. I wish I got the top now that I hate the white stratus bra. Um, but these ones feel really good. They do feel very true to size. Very typical size extra small here. Don't feel like I need to like size up or anything in these ones. But yeah, definitely very, very stretchy. Um, and as far as squat proofness goes, if I pull, you can see where the mesh is. Let me see here. You can't see my underwear where the mesh is, but as far as like in the front, not really. So I think you're good there. Uh, and that's what these look like. So I'll go ahead and switch over to the last two colors for you. All right, next up we have, I believe it's called Indigo. Let me confirm for you though. True Indigo is what it's called. Um, I would say this is a very true, I would say this is a very true indigo color. I think they knocked, <laughs> they got the nail on the head with the color name there, if anything. This does remind me of Tuxedo Blue, if you guys remember that color. Although that color is a little bit more darker, a little more on the gray side. And this reminds me a lot of Sonic Blue. If you guys remember that launch, I think it was, um, that was a Revival collection. I'll include that in the color comparison. But yeah, these, this color reminds me a lot of Sonic Blue, just a little bit darker than that. Um, these feel like my usual size small, nothing out of the ordinary. And these feel similar, I would say, to the Butterscotch. Stretchier, a little bit more spandex um, than the first two. These are comfortable, not itchy. I don't know what the freaking difference is in the material there, but on to the next. Okay, next up. We have Rich Brown, and I think this might be my favorite. Oh my gosh, I haven't tried this one on yet. Uh, as you guys know, I've been traveling. I've been in Europe for the past two weeks, and I just now was able to try these on, and I think she takes the cake. I love this color. This is Rich Brown right here up close. Uh, extra small in the leggings, small in the bra, and no, it is not the same color as chocolate. So this right here is chocolate. And if you put them side by side, you can really tell. So chocolate is much more darker and rich brown, much more darker. Wow, much more dark. And rich brown is much more of like a true brown, a little bit lighter um, in shade here. She's gorgeous. I freaking love this color so much. I'm going to rotate us a little bit because the sun is going down and we're losing light here. So let's let's come here. Here, this works. Okay. <laughs> So here, yeah, you can probably see the color. I mean, this is definitely a natural light. Really, really love this one. I just love a darker color. Uh, as far as squat proofness goes, let's see. We can see a little bit, a little bit in there, but in like the actual front where the mesh isn't, no, I think you're safe. So I would feel really confident wearing these any day. Honestly, any of the darker colors, you really never have the issue of squat proofness with. So. We'll go with that. Uh, and for the next couple pieces, there are a couple oversized tees launching this launch. This one is my favorite. I got a medium. Okay. So there's this one right here, and it has Learn More, Dream More, um, and it has pink accents, which I'm obsessed with. And this one actually looks really cute. Um, I've been wearing it with the pink element stuff. So this is how a size medium fits me right here. It's comfy, it's cute, I love the pink, it makes me want to get pink um, dunks, like literally just for the purposes of the shirt, so big fan. And then it's also coming out in gray here with the blue color, and the blue does look really cute, worn with digital violet. Like if you see right here, they do look pretty cute together. So, highly recommend, 
love an oversized tee. I know these are like all the rage right now, so very good one. Okay, so next up we have a pair of Elements shorts. These are amazing, just like wear around the house. You can definitely train in them. Same material as the joggers, just super like sleek, nice. They feel expensive. They have little zipper pockets here, which I love. Very convenient for grocery store shopping, etc. because I never carry a bag. Then we have the little Elfleet tag here and the rubber logo down here. I'm wearing a small. Um, I always wear a small in the shorts, as you know. This is what they look like from the back and here. And I honestly just love the color. I couldn't resist the pink. But next up this is my favorite Elements item. And this is new. And this is the Elements, I think it's called the Cropped Sweater or something. I think that's what it's called. But this is a men's item. And I'm wearing the color Vanilla. And this is a size extra small. So I'm warning you, if you're any smaller than me, this might be like too oversized for you. So this is an extra small and if I like actually wear it, it's all the way down here. So it is big. Um, but like I said, color vanilla, this is so, so nice. It has the raised alphalete right here in the same color. And then the inside is just like the same like sleek material as the outside. And like I said, you guys, this is hard to explain without you touching it, but this material feels cold to the touch. Like it's just, sleek and nice and it feels so expensive it feels so good highly recommend I absolutely love this um, I did also get two pairs of the joggers and they made some updates to those so hold please so these are the joggers I'm gonna probably lose the hoodie just so you can actually see it so these are the joggers here and they are my most most worn alpha piece of clothing I have them in like three or four colors and I asked the influencer manager for more because that's how much I wear them and I was like having to constantly wash them um, but yeah I I love these these they're the most comfortable sweats they're like you don't get too hot in them because they're sleek you don't get itchy in them they're just perfect I love them so I'm wearing a size small and they did make some updates to these so they brought down this waistband a little bit previously it was like even thicker than this it was like up to here and I do like this one a little bit better it's not like so overwhelming um, so they made this a little bit thinner um, these are full length on me as you can see this is what they look like from the back and the pockets don't have zippers like the shorts do uh, but yeah they're perfect they are a little bit oversized I still size up because I just like kind of like an oversized jogger feeling and they are like snug on my waist but just enough so highly highly recommend these I did also get the color gray in the crew neck and the gray joggers as well um, so just for your reference I will throw on like this set for you okay so next up this color is called oyster I took an extra small in the jacket and again a small in the jogger and this jacket is special it is such a good jacket. Um, let me come down here and show you. And they did make some updates to this as well. So they changed. What did they change? They shortened the length of it and they increased the cuff opening a little bit. So um, as far as like this piece right here, I have one of the old. Oh my God. I just knocked over my whole thing. You guys are going to cancel me for this video, honestly. You should. Okay. <laughs> we're crooked we're struggling it's fine so this is one of the old elements crop jackets and this was like the cuff size before I don't know if you can tell like can you see you probably can't let me do this here we go okay so the, the new cuff size what I'm trying to say here is the new cuff size is bigger and it feels like stretchier this one's pretty snug like when I first got it I was like how is this going over my wrist so that changed and then as far as the length goes the new one is a little bit shorter so if I was to put this right here you can see that the vanilla one is like two inches almost longer than this one and there is a ton of of colors launching in this new cropped one and the joggers and the shorts so there's like lime green there's like blue there's pink there's purple there's like a million new colors but like if you can see if I zip this up right here it's still like it's not a lot of belly I guess the old one like covered this almost completely but if I kind of sag or even if I sized up to a small it would cut that gap so it really just depends what you're looking for but there are some cool features to this jacket. It is this super nice, like, reinforced zip. I've never had a problem with it. You can zip it all the way up, which I love for the winter. It does have a hood 
here, here, we can see her. Um, and it has zipper pockets, another thing, just so helpful that they actually zip closed. Um, I'm a paranoid crazy person that always thinks somebody's gonna like steal my stuff out of my pockets. And then it also has this little zipper right here. So if you're like a runner or you just want to have something in your arm here, super accessible, amazing that it also has a zipper there. So huge, huge fan of these pieces. I do remember the white one pretty much immediately sold out last launch. Um, and I have the white one, so I just got the gray one this time. I also have it in black and purple. And guys, I wear, I wear this jacket constantly. It's like the first one I reach for. I have a dedicated basket. Okay. For reference, this is how much I love elements. I should show you in a video one day. This whole room behind me back there is all alphalete. Like the closet is packed with alphalete. The wall has like this big cube that's covered in alphalete. It is the alphalete room. And I keep all my like activewear up here. And downstairs is my like normal clothes closet that I share with Alex. Um, but the difference is in my normal clothes closet, there's a basket, a literal basket on the shelf that is dedicated only to element stuff. Like literally this stuff right here. It has these jackets in it, it has the joggers in it, and it has the shorts in it. And it is dedicated to just this collection because that is how often I wear it. Um, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> it has its own basket. Uh, and I fold it all neatly and color code it. It's a whole thing. So do not miss this. If you're going to get anything from this launch, I would say I love the Rich Brown Amplify set and I love how it feels. The butterscotch as well. Um, the Rich Brown feels like that kind of spandexy nice material. Maybe it's just the darker colors this launch that have that feeling, whereas the other ones to me are a little bit more snug and like not my favorite material of Amplify. So if I had to recommend Amplify, I would say go Rich Brown or Butterscotch. I think they're beautiful, very unique. The other colors too, digital pink and or digital violet and pixel pink are both really unique colors. Alphalete has not done colors like those before. So if you do want something unique, you could do those too. The true indigo, I love, but I feel like there's a lot of blues already. So that wouldn't be my first choice. And I would not recommend the white. Same with the gray. If you already have gray, I think you can mix and match. The new gray is almost identical to the thundercloud gray. It's called utility gray is the new one. And thundercloud, if you have that, they are super, super similar. So that's kind of why I didn't get that one. I was just like, I don't need it. Um, so yeah, I would pick one of those Amplify sets. Love the oversized tees. They're really like just in right now and I think those are cool. Um, and then I would say either this zip up hoodie, the crop sweatshirt from the men's collection or a pair of these joggers. I love these joggers. You will too. No doubt in my mind, they are worth the money. They're a little bit pricier than some of the other joggers from Alphalete. Um, but if I was gonna, like if you were like, Brittany, I need a pair of joggers from Alphalete, I would first say the Elements, and then I would say the Surface Joggers. Two very underrated Alphalete items, I don't know why. But those are my two, especially going into the fall. Really, really obsessed with all of these. So, that is gonna be it. Big mouthful, sorry about the chaos. Enter the giveaway, please, use my code, get a discount, and maybe win some free stuff. I would love that. Um, and I'm excited to send you guys some stuff and just give back to you. And I'm gonna do more giveaways in the future because your girl is clearing out this stuff. You will see in my color comparisons, I'm literally comparing like the very first launch of OG Revivals and like Halo leggings, like colors people don't even have anymore. So, you know, I'm just one of, one of the OGs, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's time to get rid of some of those really old pieces. I'm just gonna show you while we're here because if you're here and you watch these videos, then like, you know, you probably do know. Okay, so this is like not even half of it, but I'm just gonna show you. So this shelf right here, this one, these are all Halo. These are all Halo leggings. No one's even wearing the Halo leggings anymore. It's like a million launches ago. And up here, these are all Revival leggings. And oh, you thought that was all of them? It's not. That's like half of the Revival leggings. There's another whole thing in the closet that's more Revival leggings. Um, another example. This whole thing right here, this is only half zip jackets. Why? Why? Why is there only half zip jackets? This thing is all short sleeve shirts. This is, this is why I'm giving stuff away. This is why there's going to be giveaways. You better subscribe, guys. I don't even know what's in these. I don't. Sweat sets, windbreakers apparently. Only cargo and striped sweatpants. Okay. Sports bras. It's getting out of hand. Okay. I need to give stuff away. <laughs> it's time. Please subscribe and watch my videos and enter my giveaways. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. So that's it.
it. Um, I'm going to stop bugging you now. Thank you for being here. Please comment below what you order. Let me know if you use my code so that I can thank you, even if you don't want to enter the giveaway, but you should anyway. Um, and yeah, happy shopping. I hope you guys get what you want. DM me if you have any questions at all about sizing, and I will get back to you today or tomorrow, definitely before the launch, uh, and would love to help you. So that is going to be it. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.